this is NJ, your host on this channel. In this video, we will have our discussion on the upcoming transit of planet Venus, which on April 27th is going to enter the sign of Pisces, which is also the sign and placement of its exaltation. And friends, the good news doesn't only end over there. Once Venus is going to enter the sign of Pisces, it's going to get conjunct with Jupiter over there. So definitely friends, a lot of good news which is awaiting for all of us. And this is something which we will try to decode and understand in this video that customized to our ascendant or our moon sign in which specific area of life, happiness and the blessings from the divine feminine is going to be showering in our lives. So now friends, as you know this thing that when we talk about the energies of Venus and Jupiter, definitely both of these planets have been attributed and allotted the position of the preceptor or the guru in our Vedic rituals, in our Vedic text, like Jupiter who is been seen as the preceptor of the gods, but Venus also is considered as the preceptor of the demons. Now in today's day and age, demons could also be seen as the kind of, you know, flaws and shortcomings and the material uh, attachment and bondage which we possess in our personality. But definitely friends, Venus also holds this capacity to give you that sort of transcendental aspect in offering yourself in the matters of love, like extending and opening up your heart to all the people, to all the world. That is the only reason friends, even when you will open up the charts of the saints and people with highly elevated spiritual state, many times we get mistaken that we only try to find out the uh, placement and dignity of Jupiter or Ketu in the charts of the saints. And we forget to look at the Venus because Venus is the chief significator for opening up your heart for the universal consciousness. Like if you will find Venus to be dignified in someone's chart, specifically with heightened attention given to the energies of Pisces, not only person is going to be very expert in the fields of art, creativity, spirituality, he is going to be very empathetic in the matters of offering compassion and being helpful, but also even in the matters of the relationship, this is going to be a person who is going to be unconditionally devoted to his loved ones. So these are the few qualities friends which we have to understand before we will jump into the customized aspect. Also friends, even from the Vedic uh, perspective, Jupiter is considered as the uh, one of the form of the Lord Vishnu. And Venus is propitiated as the form of the goddess Lakshmi. So definitely friends, all sort of benefic qualities only is going to get expanded or extended because of the entry of Venus in the Pisces sign, the sign of its exaltation and its conjunction with Jupiter over there. So okay friends, now we will uh, shift our discussion to the customized results. Now starting with the Aries ascendant natives. So definitely friends, as you can see that this whole uh, like transit of Venus is going to take place in your 12th house. Had it been only the Venus being placed over here and let's say the influence of Rahu or the influence of Mars could driven uh, Aries native towards uh, like uh, you know life filled with hedonism or pleasures or enjoyment but just because of a naturally well placed Jupiter over here and over and above that the entry of Venus is definitely going to heighten the positive and benefic side of all the 12th house connected energies whether your life is very much inclined towards spirituality or whether your life is inclined towards research exploration or anything to do with the you know fields and uh, objectives of service of you know uh, contributing yourself towards the upliftment or towards the you know healing aspect of the society so all those prospects are going to get uplifted because of the entry of venus in the uh, 12th house of yours friends try to understand this thing that whatsoever jupiter is making you do right now being transiting in your 12th house venus is going to add a charm a flair or kind of a happiness and enjoyable factor over here. And also friends, as in your case, Venus has also got the rulership of your 7th house and the 2nd house as well. I'm seeing more of an energy of, you know, offering yourself unconditionally in the matters of love, in the matters of romance. That is a different case that briefly, uh, like Mercury is also going to be transiting in your 2nd house, making your speech like very mellifluous, like making you very realistic, very practical, but at the same time, friends, beauty, 
and you know appreciation towards the beautiful things and love is definitely going to be a turn on factor for you guys during this time so make the best use out of it like when we talk about offering yourself unconditionally in the matters of love and you know even finding that sort of a bliss in spiritual or religious austerity is something which we can see as a theme of this transit of venus in your 12th house moving ahead friends now if you want to understand the results for all the taurus ascendant natives so definitely friends in your case there is no vulnerability of any distraction there is no uh, you know flavors of spirituality or religious austerity everything is driven towards or surrounding around your wish fulfillment and because of the contribution of Jupiter over here as well so definitely friends your social life is going to get expanded during this time Venus's entry in the 11th house is going to open up all the blockages which you might have been experiencing so far in the path of your wish fulfillment or anything to do with you know like even in your line of work nature of work there has been some sort of setbacks some sort of obstacles if you have been going through because basis your ascendant venus has got the rulership of your ascendant and the sixth house and the lord of these two houses getting exalted in the 11th house with the due contribution of jupiter is definitely going to help you get connected with the right set of prominent people and also friends lot of like group activities socialization meeting new people going on for travels adventure that is how we can see this entry of venus in your 11th house and friends like the way i have already mentioned this thing at the beginning of this video that the combined influence of venus and jupiter is all about appreciation it's all about love it's all about compassion so definitely friends this is going to be a time when you know the feel good factor is definitely going to be there you will prove to be a person who's going to have you know empathetic ears towards the problem of your friends you might also play the role of a matchmaker for some of your friends so from all of those aspect of enjoyable uh, you know group experiences with your friends this transit or this entry of venus in your 11th house can be seen as a very good news your whole focus is going in the energies of the 11th house and the beauty over here is that friends because sixth house energies also going over there so it's not only gonna benefit you on your personal life or some sort of enjoyable experience but also some work related networking and liaisonship can also benefit you during this time when your ascendant lord is going to be exalted in the 11th house moving ahead friends now for all the gemini rising people so now friends in your case as you can fairly see that venus is going to get exalted in your 10th house of your profession and venus has got the rulership of your 12th house and it has also got the rulership of your fifth house so definitely friends when we talk about fifth house lord going exalted in the 10th house this is a idle combination of people engaged in the fields of art creativity entertainment business anything to do with speculation stock market or if you deal with products which involve children even if you are a student right now so this exalted state of venus and due support coming in from the jupiter in your 10th house is actually a very ripe a very important promising time for you where you should be putting your best efforts to take out the maximum opportunity or maximum advantage of this open window in your case and also friends because 10th house in a way just tells about your line of work your professional endeavors so you might be able to establish good connection good rapport with your uh, colleagues with your subordinates with your team members with your bosses and definitely friends this is going to be a time when your charm your elegance is going to be very much noticeable by all the people around you and also friends because i have already mentioned this thing like if in your line of work public dealing you know going on for sales meeting giving presentation public speaking is an integral part so trust me you're definitely going on for a very very enjoyable ride during this exalted state of venus in your 10th house moving ahead friends now for all the cancer rising people so now friends in your case as you can fairly see that venus is a very important planet for you guys it has got the rulership of your house of wish fulfillment and the house of inner containment and happiness and venus is going to go exalted in your ninth house which can be seen as a very good sign because friends like this is actually going to be a time when some 
travel can also take place which is going to be very emotionally fulfilling so let's say for example for long if your partner if your family members have been insisting on some sort of religious pilgrimage and all of that so this is going to be a very promising time to consider taking this travel and also friends all the ninth house related matters like for anything to do with uh, applying for foreign residentship concerns of visa concerns of immigration and you know succeeding because of the due support of your friends people in your network people in your influence so from all of those perspective this transit this exalted state of venus in your ninth house can be seen as a very good sign whether you are eyeing for relationship trying to get married or in any way like arrange marriage prospects are getting qualified in your case so from all of those perspective and specifically all those professions who are either connected with venus or who are either connected with the ninth house related matters anything to do with import export immigration business judiciary teaching law all those people are going to get benefited with this exalted venus in your ninth house moving right friends now for all the leo rising people so friends in your case uh, venus is going to get exalted in your eighth house now friends as you know this thing that in your case venus has got the rulership of your 10th house of your profession and the third house of your skills your courage your valor your networking so now friends definitely in your line of work there could be some sudden unpredictable opportunity or gain which can materialize during this time this becomes more important for all those people who are freelance or who work with their skill or like even if you are an actor you are a performing artist so this can be seen as a very promising time for all of you guys because third house is the house of your skill 10th house is the house of your profession and their lot is getting exalted in the 8th house of big opportunity also friends this is going to be time when whether you like it or not the charm around your personality your aura is definitely going to get very much you know uh, gather a lot of attention so that sexual charm and allure around your personality is going to be very visible very noticeable during this time because venus is getting exalted in your eighth house now it all comes down to your line of work your nature of work this could be a very promising thing for someone who is in uh, the business of fashion with beauty anything to do with art creativity modeling business so it all comes down to individual to individual and also friends if in your line of work you deal in the uh, matters of insurance or revenue or excise custom anything to do with 8 house related matters whether even we talk about spirituality art occult sciences all those people are going to get benefited because of their uh, 10th house lord getting exalted in the 8th house moving right friends now for all the virgo ascendant natives so now definitely friends in your case uh, your uh, like second house lord the house of your finances so the lord of that house is going to get exalted in your uh, like seventh house so which can be seen as a very good sign specifically friends this can be seen as a very good sign specifically for all those people who are actually engaged in the business of venus in entity because see whenever we talk about the kind of business which is well suited for you so because in your case anyways venus has got the ownership of your second house of income and finances and let's say with this kind of uh, like uh, alignment in your chart you are dealing in uh, the clothing business perfume business business of luxurious goods or anything to do with being in the hotel business or buying and selling of vehicles having those car showrooms or you have your own media agency so if all those prospects are getting qualified in your case so this can be seen as a very promising time for you guys because friends you have to understand this thing and specifically guys see the whole alignment gets formed in a way that your ascendant in itself is virgo is kanya and in your ninth house you will find the energy of the venus so which is again a feminine divine energy so specifically for all the virgo ascendant natives right now i do not know what kind of alignment you have in your chart where the natal planets are placed in your chart but in any case worship of feminine divine like whether we talk about the worship of durga of lakshmi ma saraswati worship of feminine divine will always prove to be fruitful for any virgo ascendant native so now friends coming back to the results the transit results so definitely friends venus getting exalted in the 7th house can be seen as a very good energy whether you are looking out for a prospective match or partner even in business you are looking forward to some sort of expansion some sort of venturing out into new domain 
So for business prospects, this can be seen as a very promising time. All those people who are single, they can get married or like just because friends, your ninth house energy is also coming in over the seventh house related matters. So definitely friends, for all those people who are connected with the fields of immigration, foreign travel, you have a travel and tour business. So all those people can get benefited with this exalted state of Venus in your seventh house. Moving ahead friends, now for all the Libra ascendant natives. So now friends, in your case, as you can freely see that Venus is your ascendant lord and the transit of your ascendant lord and the uh, eighth house lord being exalted in the sixth house can be seen as a very good sign. Definitely friends, in your line of work, in your daily work life, you might be able to you know establish good connection with the people even in your line of work some sort of you know appreciation recognition that is going to become more qualified in your case more eligible in your case if your line of work is connected with the venusian fields anything to do with advertising working in a fashion media house if you are working in these fields so definitely friends in your line of work that charm that elegance uh, being considered for a new role for a new opportunity uh, able to maintain good connection and you know some sort of good uh, harmonious uh, relationship and uh, experiences with your teammates can be foreseen with this exalted state of uh, Venus in your sixth house and also friends just because your ascendant lord is going in the sixth house I would say this is also a very auspicious time for you to make any restructuring any amendments any readjustments if you have been long planning for doing in the sixth house related matters like whether let's say for example you have your own business for long you have been been thinking about putting money on uh, rebranding on promotion on advertising materials so any sort of sixth house related matters where you need your additional speculation investment branding rebranding so you can consider during this time when venus is going to be exalted your ascendant lord is going to be exalted in your sixth house moving right friends now for all these scorpio rising people so friends in your case venus is a important planet for you guys because it has got the rulership of your seventh house of your commerce and trade commercial activities and the 12th house of your uh, passion and spiritual religious austerity and venus is going to get exalted in your fifth house so now friends for anything to do pertaining to the matters of art creativity devotion spiritual religious austerity this transit of venus and its exalted state in your fifth house can be seen as a very good sign and i would also say friends for all those people in whose case whether you are a single you might be able to get into relationship or the charm in your personality is going to attract lot many people towards you their attention towards you if you are already working in the fields of art and creativity this can be seen as a very promising time you want to sign up a new agent you want to collaborate you want to sponsor or look for the sponsorships so from all of those perspective this exalted state in the fifth house in a way is telling about that the charm and the facial attraction of yours is definitely going to create a lot of buzz. And also friends, when we talk about uh, like because 7th house lord is getting exalted in the 5th house. So also friends, in the matters of relationship, it is a very prime indication. And also friends, for all those people uh, like who are in that age group that your major concerns hover around your children. So definitely friends, because of your stars, your children might also get the push necessary push which they need or let's say for example in the past few months or times your relationship with your children have got distance or some sort of you know miscommunication which generally happens with parents of the uh, adolescent and teenage kids so during this time you might be able to re-establish that strong bond with your kids uh, being able to you know have some gala good time with your children with your family so for any sort of adventure travel enjoyable uh, family uh, time and moments and experiences this entry and this uh, exalted state of Venus in your fifth house can be seen as a very good sign so for friends anything to do with the worship aspect anything to do with the new opportunity aspect anything to do with you know uh, getting that attention because of the glow and charm and attraction in your personality this transit of Venus in your fifth house can be seen as a very good sign and also friends I want to say over here that for all the 
the Scorpio rising people during this time, worship of either Lord Vishnu or Goddess Lakshmi can actually prove to be very beneficial for all of you guys. Whether for Lord Vishnu is the Lord Vishnu Sahastranam or for Goddess Lakshmi, listening to the Shri Suktam can actually bring or manifest very good results for all of you guys. Moving ahead friends. Now for all these Sagittarius rising people. So now friends, as you can fairly see that in your case, Venus is a very important planet for you guys because it has got the rulership of your 11th house of your wish fulfillment. And in the transit, Venus is going to get conjunct with your ascendant lord in the 4th house, that too exalted. So definitely friends, for all these Sagittarius rising people, this is actually a very promising time which you guys are running. Pertaining to the matters of housing, like whether you want to book a new home, you want to do any renovation, you want to buy a new furniture or any home decor concerns. So for all of those concerns, you guys are actually going through very auspicious time. And also friends, I always say this thing, whatsoever happens in the fourth house, it always has a strict influence an impact on our deeper emotional state so definitely friends a feel-good factor is going to be over here like even in the matters of domestic family life you know some sort of good experiences good moments good news will be all over around during this time when venus is going to go exalted and conjunct with your ascendant lord in the fourth house and all the professions connected with the fourth house like specifically people dealing in vehicles or luxurious goods or you have your chain of hotels or you are in restaurant business and all of that so all those people can get benefited during this exalted state of venus in your fourth house moving right friends now for all the capricorn rising people so now friends in your case venus is your yoke karka planet a very important planet for you guys and venus's exalted state in the third house can be seen as a very good sign so trust me friends uh, rekindle re-establish all of your network all of your friend circle like remain very much active on social media and i would say that for all those people whose occupation or livelihood is straight away connected with the third house related matters you work in sales media marketing you are a performing artist you are a freelance business person anything to do with the content creation uh, working as a blogger as an influencer so all those people are going to get benefited because of this exalted state of venus in your third house and the combined energy of jupiter and venus in your third house is definitely going to make all of the content created by you very encouraging very motivating very kind of you know where your audience is going to receive it with open hearts and very open wide arms that is how you can see the entry of venus in your third house moving right friends now for all the aquarius rising people so now friends in your case venus is a very important yo karka planet for all of you guys and in transit venus's exalted state in the second house of your finances of your income can be seen as a very good sign specifically if your profession your occupation your livelihood hovers around the venus in fields like anything to do with working in the fields of a perfume of clothing of uh, advertising media fashion so all those people are going to get benefited because of this exalted state of venus in your second house also friends like when we talk about second house second house also tells about your speech so definitely venus is going to get the positive aspect of being conjunct with jupiter jupiter is definitely going to expand all the beautiful aspect of venus in quality which your audience your listener will definitely experience and also friends when we talk about the transit of your ninth house lord being in the second house so definitely the prospects and the support of luck will also help you in all of your or any of your financial endeavors and now friends the whole connection is also getting formed because of your fourth house lord getting exalted in the second house that also tells about that you know getting that sort of emotional support experiencing that sort of happiness and uh, kind of you know supported uh, because of your family members or people who are very near or dear to you so from all of those perspective this exalted state of venus in your second house can be seen as a very good news for all the aquarius rising people some sort of financial abundance and prosperity is bound to be experienced during this day of venus in your second house and last friends for all the pisces rising people so now friends in your case as you can fairly see that venus is going to get exalted right over there in your first house which can be seen as a very good sign two 
teachers two preceptors like jupiter and venus being present over there in your first house is definitely going to increase the prospects of your knowledge wisdom mentorship and this is something which not only you will experience but also all those people who are connected with you they will also perceive this sort of wisdom and intelligence and grace and compassion overflowing out of you the second thing is that friends as you can freely see that venus in your case has got the rulership of your third house and it has also got the rulership of your eighth house so let's say for example if you are working in the fields of like you are uh, running some training material or tutorials on self-help on lifestyle coaching anything to do with astrology uh, occult sciences working in the fields of insurance revenue so all those people are going to get benefited because of this exalted state of venus in your first house now friends like the way i have already mentioned this thing like these two auspicious planet benefic planet being placed in a strong dignity in your first house that means that all the decisions taken by you will prove to be very fruitful all those circumstances on opportunity which you will attract towards you are going to be a very important life lesson fortune awakening experience for all of you and definitely friends the elegance and charm of venus is going to be shining all over your personality which whether you are working in the fields of media where the world can experience that but also even if you have a private life so all those people who are intimately who are closely connected with you they can fairly experience that grace and that bliss of venus showering all over you so that is something friends which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs for the upcoming transit of venus on this month for further more updates and notifications on the divine signs of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page dhanyawad